not only have Unicorns gone for this mid-game team comp, I feel they don't have the greatest damage the longer the game goes. No, no. When I see at least, though, I think early aggression, I really want to see an opening like UOL is forcing here. Well, Steve does have his equalizer. The cocoon does connect onto Horo. Equalizes out. Horo's gonna look for a tunnel to escape. Steve is in trouble. The repel drops Yankos onto Horo's head. He's going for the new jungler. One more to attack. Red buff, Red buff is ticking. That's Timbers! He's come in! First blood secured by Hillisang's Tibbers and Ignites. Out of nowhere, Hillisang shows up in the top lane. We were watching that duel and we were slowly starting to realize give or take to finish that side zone. Hillisang takes a different approach. He wants for early Moby Boots. Looking to pay off for a fight That's here. A two man pulverized. Tibbers comes down on Mr. Raal's head. He's trying to get away. Repel from Yankos is defensive. Van is taking away with the unbreakable Steve's will. Behind. But Chachi with the teleport is going to be able to help pick up a kill for Horo. Unicorn was used by Steve earlier, so it's not available. Steve goes down as well. Unicorns of Love get two kills. And this is the problem with a. He's got a lot of tankiness already, and he's going to have a roam from Power of Evil. I think As we see this problem. dive here in the top lane, Steve should just go down. I just want to touch on the fact that for free. will they trade it for a tier 2 tower on the bottom though? Looks, looks likely. It looks to be the case. Oh, Steve's got caught! Tibbers comes down as well! He's knocked up! Steve couldn't do a thing! They go cheese, but so far, looks like the other way around. A bit of a cheesy lineup from Rocket here and definitely going ham. Chachi. Pinball from Vander. In a little bit of trouble. Not going to be able to dredge line out. So, Inhibitor Turret loses 30% HP. No Oscar for Unicorns of Love. Wow, that's a fast engage. Hillisang and Vardex come running in. Vardex is in a little bit of trouble. Spell Shield's not going to block a lot. Rappel comes up from Yankos. He's looking for a target as Horo has been the first victim. The Flash Frost will hold Vizachachi in place for a few moments before Power of Evil's running out of mana. Vanda with the Flash Pulverize. He manages to catch PoE, but they lose Hillisung. We do see Yankos going down, stepping a little too far forward. Power of Evil comes in. One more hit with Chachi. They secure the kill on Rawls, and there's the uh, Death Side Embrace is not going to be enough. Now, Nuketai. He's the one that goes down as well. Double kill secured for Vardags before he's finally melted. Nine people dead and PoE remains. Split, you're not really useful. So they want to group. You can't just group a split push. If you don't really want to split push yourself, Hey, do Song is down. He gets Rollins the Timbers up, too, but Rollins follows suit. There's the victor damage you were talking about, Krepo. We're going to see the suicide from Cogmore. He's going to be able to pick up a kill onto Power of Evil. Vardex is getting focused out. The mine knocks him up in the air, and the fangs get sunk in from Yankos. And he gets out alive. Vanda finds a two-man pulverize. It allows Yankos to escape. Horo's looking for more. He's found a bird is the word before he eats a cocoon. Stunned in place, he does find Nuketak, the egg was not available and Chachi is tanky for days. He's gonna look for more. The most exciting battle ever. Flame Spitter is out. Headbutt is out. Run, Chachi. Dredge line. He connects onto Vanda. And then he runs out of mana. To improve their team play, but not improve their acting. Dredge line. He connects on Nuketak. He stuns up Rocket. The Chaos Storm is out. Power of Evil is running right through the back line. Nuketak's gonna get turned into an egg, but he's gonna get cooked for breakfast. Unicorns of Love have found three, have found four. Yankos is trying to run away. It simply will not be enough. They lost Vardex in the process, but Unicorns, what a fight. That was a fantastic reach by Vijichachi, and I'm really liking the way he's playing. Oh, Hillisak, maybe side. in a little bit of trouble. Tibbers is coming to help, though. In the Cocoons. Oh. He's just wasting time, that's enough. Where's the rest of the team? Unicorns, they're pushing down the middle tower. Hillisang, he's not gonna well, get man. the kill. Skittering frenzy. Yanko straight, but he's done his job. This is too forced, like, just gotta decide what you want, Unicorns. Of course, Chachi doesn't really go down too much, so they can bait this. Well, they want the engaged. fight. Chachi's gonna get caught by the cocoon, not gonna be able to find a target, but Vander's way out of position. Unbreakable Will will keep him alive for a few seconds longer, but Nuketak's he flashes out. in. Nuketak's already been turned into an egg. Power of Evil's trying to kill him, and he'll be able to. Yankos is now trying to sink the fangs in. This is a battle on two fronts. Everybody from UOL's flashing red, but it doesn't matter because there's no resistance. Yankos follows Nuketak to the grave. Unicorns able to get the kills they wanted, and big minion waves. <laughs> Tight nod and a little dance from Coach oh, as he's Chachi, happy to see as a Chachi goes in. He's going to be able to secure. Felisang gets a kill credit though, and it looked like Chachi got away with his life. Ross is on a mana. Kogma W doesn't cost any mana. How are we looking at the Nexus turrets? Top lane inhibitor is being sieged upon. Two members basing though, so 
Gonna just be a good game yet. Good flash here. No ultimate on Vander. He goes down. Vardex flashes on Rawlis. Rawdex is looking for more. Teleport will keep a minion alive. As you can see, the banner of command. So we can to minions on the side. Unicorns of love at 42 minutes have dropped the Nexus turret. And from start to finish, Unicorns have love have dictated the tempo of the game. Twisted advances in. Alistair follows up, and then you have the offensive control mage potential from Victor in these compositions that are in the screen right now. So, more aggression for Rocket, and I think this can work out. We will find out shortly. If you agree with Crepo and think it will work out, hit us up on Twitter, at LOL Esports, hashtag ROC win or hashtag UOL win. You start walking forward. And we'll see, Steve going to try, he's going to get the uh, knockout breed, the dredge, dredge line was used, the root comes out, the cocoon lands, venomous bite is available, there's first another blood. one, that's going to be first blood, who will secure it? It's Yankos! He wanted, he's looking for a counterbank position because he's predicting Yankos, could not be anywhere else in the map, but he's top! And he's found Hillisang, Hillisang will be going down. Last hit gets connected by Mr. Ull, so Early. this time round, what's out, so cleanse used. Insta, after the Chain of Corruption connects from Power of Evil. There's going to be support from Horo. Flash is going to be available in a second or two, but Hillisang with another roam, with the Dark Binding, with the kill for Power of Evil. Not the first time we've said it, it As won't be usual. the last, but look at the ward. It's behind Unicorn. Steve. Here comes Steve, and he's got cookies. Vardex is in trouble as Yankos takes him out. Horus trying to tunnel away. Chachi's teleported in only to run away. Nuketak gets caught by the dredge line and the mine, and he's knocked up. Power of Evil's looking for the kill, but there's a he flash flashes. away. Nuketak stays alive. Power of Evil continues to land those auto attacks. Dark Binding noms a Spiderling, but that is all. One for zero in favor of Rocket. Their disposal. And we'll find out what they decide to do as it stands. Vander's looking for it. He's flashed, and that Pulverize hit nothing. Yankos, he finds the Cocoon onto Power of Evil, and we see the Arcane Smash coming for the kill with Power of Evil down. What can Unicorns of Love do? Vardex is chunked down to half HP as Chachi's running as much interference as he can, but he's going to have to take a dive if he wants to stay alive. Black Shield will hold him for a few seconds before Rawls gets one more auto. Two for one trade. Very efficient build paths. Frozen Heart into 4 mil, Frozen Heart Random into 4 mil. All possible as Rocket pick up their second dragon. QE. Edge line is gonna connect. We are gonna see the Arcane Smash and the Twisted Advance. Vander's now in the middle of the team. Unbreakable Will is ticking. Another dredge line pulls him back in. Unicorns are trying to reposture, trying to re-engage, and they're going to look for a tree. They're going to find the tree. They trade Steve's life for Hillisuck. Flash from Vardags aggressively gets him a double kill. Looks pretty, but you'll regret that you did that next fight. Oh, she goes in, he'll get poked. Oh, that was a mistake. He did not want to find that wall. Not gonna... Oh, he does channel the ultimate. It catches Nuketuck, but it won't be enough. Remember, there's no flash for Vardags. It wouldn't have mattered as Mr. Rawls gets the kill. Previously by a Baron play. There's some vision. Hillisung sidesteps the cocoon. Baron's down to 4,000. Teleport's gonna start. Soul Shackles is being channeled. It'll hold Steve's Baron in place. Yankos is looking for the steel. Can he find it? No! Unicorns above. They get the Baron buff. Now Vanda's gonna get caught out as Yankos has already dropped. Vanda still alive for a few seconds longer. Horo's looking for him and he finds him. Chaos Storm comes up. Nuketuck and Rocket, they want to clean house. Hillisung's running away and Vardex still does not have flash available. I don't think he can get to his side of the map though. Vardex is going to buff these Baron minions before getting away. It's at least going to shove a lane in. There's three members of UOL around the three members of Rocket, and this is going to put some threat on them. Steve eats a Dark Binding and both teams fighting on the minions. other go, side. Go off those minions, quick. Ah, they're gone. Not going to be enough. Unicorns, they're looking for the fight. Where's Vardex? He's hanging around by the river. Dark Binding, that could set up another kill. Rawls has flashed, so keep your eyes on Rawls. He has to carry this fight. Binding goes wide. We see Rocket, they're finally trying to find their way back to their own territory. Vardex is lifesteal a little bit up from that Vamp Scepter. Rawls, that's a three-man knock-up! Horo goes huge before he goes down! It did not matter because Vardex couldn't auto-attack. Here comes Chachi! He gets the dredge line, he throws the mine, and then Unicorns run away. He used a teleport for that. That's what I do all the time. <laughs> I like the thinking.
We do see the Cocoon catches onto Hela Sun. Black Shield's being channeled. Chachi's way up on the front line. Chain of Corruption is going to start to spread. For the it's going to hold Mr. Rawls. It's going to hold Yankos. Cocoon goes wide. Power of Evil still trying to spit out damage from afar. Steve gets pulled back in with a dredge line. The Boomerang and the Ricochet, it will get a kill. But Nuketak will find one onto Vardags. Without Vardags, this siege is going nowhere. Rocket and found an opening on the Baron, spotted by the Scrying Orb. Chachi Teleport is being channeled. So is Steve's. Here comes Steve, Horo, and the rest of Unicorns. They're going to connect with the chain. They're going to connect with the binding. Baron is dealing damage to Rocket, and the team fight has begun. Horo's going to knock up a giant, giant tree. Vardags, this is a risky Nuketak's position. Out. He manages to get Nuketak. Cocoon comes out. QSS follows. Defensive flash from Vardags, but Mr. Rawls is caught. He's got caught out by the knockup. Unicorns of Love have found themselves the kills they need to potentially secure this Baron. Used again. Let's hope it's in the right lane. Been built 16 no, times. 16 times Krepper with a 12 and 4 win loss. Unicorns going to hope to continue to grow that number. Steve is on the front line. The depth charge is going way back on the hunt. He's throwing Unicorns into Rockat's base, but Nuketak says you shall not pass. He's going to get caught by the piercing arrow, and he's going to get dropped by the hail of arrows. Fizzachachi still alive on the front line with only Rolls and Vanda left to defend. Unicorns of Love have 50 minutes are onto the Nexus turrets. They've got banner-empowered minions. The dredge line connects. Mr. Rolls is running for his life. Going to get away from the minions. Nexus Tower will be dropping. That dredge line misses. We'll forgive it, Chachi, as the Unicorns of Love are going 2-0 in this best of five. And honestly, as we see Rolls go down, Nexus goes down. I want to see the accuracy from Power of Evil. I just want to see how Mr. Rawls and Vander play this uh, Callista Thresh lane. It's a very fun lane to play. In. So many small interactions that you can use, so many outplays, one to five, as well as just level six with Fate Skull in there with the Lantern interactions. Again, these are the lineups on your screen. And yeah, if you think that uh, Rocket will take the first win here, tweet at LOA Sports, hashtag RockWin. Or you think that Unicorns are It's very interesting to see, to talk about those pick and ban trends and the decision making because. Now nope, Steve has pushed pivot. out a little bit too far outside of vision range. He's in trouble. Hora comes Flash in. Flash is available. Shield is up. There's a sapling. It's going to chase for touchdown. the touchdown. It's incredibly important for the mid to early game because more members have to defend bot lane. This leaves mid lane exposed. However, Chachi's going in. Oh, Chachi's going to avoid the death sentence by going for the twist and advance. Mr. Rawls gets bounced around before he gets bopped on the head and taken down. Steve follows suit. Chachi is going to flash away defensively. Equalizer did not do a whole lot, and UOL extend the kill lead. Okay, 3 is still 0 0 0. He's playing here with Sidestone. People always compliment Rocket. Hang on, Vardex. Well, Double Vardex combo. Board, but it may not matter because Hillisung stuck in behind the whole team. Chachi goes for a long range twisted advance. Those Ren stacks are continuing to be built Let's up. Kill. One E, it will be a kill. Mr. Rolls finds it. And UOL initiates the fight. Where well, it's already too late, took some damage. Nuketuck, he could use a blue buff. He's out of mana. Death sentence, catches on Hillisung. Breaker balls out. This may be another forced engage. Fate Horo still did not get the knockup. Horo gets caught by the box. Now he's going to be the sacrificial lamb. Rend will secure a kill there uh, by Mr. Rawls. But Yankos and Horo are both out. The fight continues. Death sentence onto Power of Evil. Vanda showing up in what could be the life saving game for Rocket. So he had a better impact last, ga last game with that final flank on Sivir. Really sealed the deal. Oh, but he eats a cocoon, cost a curse. The rocket comes out. I am done. I'm done, just Trevor. goes wide. <laughs> but I talk him down. He flanks a victor with Sivir. But now he eats a cocoon, doesn't spell shield. He gets caught. What goes up must come down. Yankos Lantern, gravity field. He's going to get stunned. The Chaos Storm will get the kill. Chachi's looking for the twisted advance. I don't know if he's going to find it. He actually flashed in for that one. Equalizer comes out from Steve defensively. That's going to oh. force Power of Evil back. Visit Chachi. He's staying alive a few hits longer, but it won't be enough. The tower is so low as well. There's a river here. Divides the map. However, Vander, Fate's Call is Fate's available. Call is used. Steve's teleporting in. Knockup is going to get used onto Chachi. Equalizer is not the greatest, but Chachi will give up his life. BOE Three stuck, members though. of UOL are grouped up, but the damage from Rocket is simply too high. Hillisung's in the middle hook. of the team. The hook connects. Power of Evil's down. Three members of UOL are out, and a defensive flash to avoid the fourth.
swipe away these lanes with gravity field and then the laser. Doesn't really work because the Baron Buff's minions are here. On the hood is pop. Teleport home guards from Chachi. The box is down. There's a two-man knockout, but the damage threat is not being focused. Nuketak is over on the side. Hora has been left for dead. Here comes Steve, the equalizer. Not in the best position. They've traded a jungler for a top laner, but they get themselves some cow as well. Helisung's down as Chachi's forced to flash defensively. The rocket doesn't connect. Two for one. That is if Unicorns are alive. Don't make a panic engage right here and pop severalty. Well, good death sentence on Hillesang, gets a knock-up onto Nuketak. Nuketak's flashed away, but he gets followed! Chachi follows him over the wall! How important will that be? Power of Evil has gone down and Vardex is retreating. Look at Mr. Rawls, he's dealing so much damage with the red. The Fate Call throws Vander into the fight, but it's Steve that gets a double kill. They may not even need Aspects. Vardex and Chachi against four members of Rockhead as the minions are pouring in. If I recall correctly, Poro sees the little dots on his sonar. He says, nope, they're all in here. I think they're doing Baron. Confirmed they're doing Baron. Baron's going down quickly. Look at the rain. Almost so quickly that Rend is hard to proc. Look at the rain. Stolen! No Unicorns have stolen it! Hillisung's in the middle of the team with Horo for backup. Boomerang Blade flies across Rocket and a defensive flash is there. But look at Nuketak. He's looking for more. This is going to be the second kill. Potentially, Vardex is in a little bit of trouble. Spell Shield on the Death Centers, but the Equalizer's burning. A flash over from Rawls. He's going to steal the red buff as well. Two for Baron. This is how I've seen uh, this in any LCS Team before. Liquid beats it. Power of Evil's down. This could be game. This could be game. This recall's coming up from UOL. Rocket, they're pushing in. They do have to fight against supers. Remember that. I, I'm lying to you entirely. They have supers to fight with. That's what I wanted to say. Rocket now. Five members up. They're on the Nexus turret. Horus coming in from behind. The super minions are pouring through. Bardax is stepping on an equalizer. The minions are being pulled away from the Nexus turret. Rocket, they're looking for the Nexus. They're grouped up. More knockups are coming in. Bardax, he's down. Double kill for Steve. All of you are well are dead. They've been ace. Rocket, keep their semi final hopes alive. And I, I like Elise and Nar as a top lane combo because I feel it's safe in its approach to ganks, even if it has, for whatever reason, the losing 2v2. Because 2 v 2 into a Nidalee is extremely rough, but it has safety in, it, in its engage. It can commit when it can, and it can play at range and counter gank when it has to. However, going into game four right now. It's a little bit of heal in the mid lane. Looks like there's gonna be a party. Wow, that's an early shockwave. Nuketak didn't expect it. He's cleansed out. Horus jumped in and first he's blood. got first blood. Now he's gonna turn to Yankos. Connects with the cocoon. 1.6 seconds. Start from Hill's side. The roaming Andy Moby boots. You are well back. Deja vu from Hillisang. The respect they need. Sentinel's actually not going to get spotted. Don't go close enough. The rolls. Tibbers, he's got stunned. Here comes Oro. Cocoon needs to connect. Boom and it doesn't. It doesn't even get needed. Teleports are being channeled. It's cancelled from Steve. It is not cancelled from Chachi. They want the tower as well. I think it's a good point you bring up because of the fact that Power of Evil's gone tier so often. Oh, Hillisang, you're in so much trouble. Gets a two-man stun, but it doesn't matter. Good read. Not quite a Balrog. will still go down, it seems. That ball's in the choke point right now, and they're very scared to enter. Flash and Gnar is available for Mega Gnar. We'll see if he can find stuns. Unicorns have not started the Dragon yet. Pull it out and take a couple of hits. Boulder Toss comes out, and this does the... Wallop, Mini Gnar, that's it. Gets chunked by a dead oh, laser. laser. That's a flash into Chaos oh. Storm. Hillisung's gonna be in trouble, but the fight is on two fronts. Hilly's down, as is Vardax. We see the Fates call. That's gonna be lobbed onto Horo. Three members of UOL down. And the Dragon gets secured by Rocket as well. They even out the goal. Alright, let's say, this might be a... Oh. Remember, Ross is execute. We yes. only need to bring this to 2k. Rend. Hide in the back of the pit. 2k's there. Rend, Rend, who's gonna get it? Mr. Ross, the shockwave comes out. It Not gets enough. some damage. They lose Steve, but Ross was able to kill the Baron. Chachi and Power of Evil no trying to hold Rocket in the pit. Ross is gonna hop over the wall, but they lose two in the process. Well, another siege coming up against Baron Minions. Mega Gnar, the hop, the crunch. Wow, he goes way wide. Gets the Gnar against the wall. All of Unicorns follow. They've got Mr. Rawls. There's no more damage to follow it up. Rocket are forced to retreat, and you are well going to get the tower. Yeah, what happened there was Vander was trying to W. Now they started. They cleared the ward immediately. Watch the... Wow, look at that HP Kalista's not there. Kalista's not there, though. They can burn it. 
This is being dropped down. Hillisang Watch looking Jankos. to... He's got a spear and he wants so to execute. I think the spear connected 1,400. He goes in. It's secured it. by the Unicorns of Love. And Jankos explodes. Fate call. Will save Vander for a while. A defensive flash from Steve keeps him alive. There's a Chachi now looking for the hyper. Mr. Rawls, you are on the wrong side of the lane. Two down and Baron. Note how Hillisang went for flash Q instead of flash Baron. Flash Yakun goes on Steve. Oh, Shockwave pulls him backwards as well. Gravity Field will keep Steve alive for a few seconds longer. Horo Luke drops the laser. to kill Horo. I didn't even see that happening. Baron for Dragon and then went for the fifth one. And is moving in right now. He's going for some damage. So, follow up team fight. Look at the damage here from Nuketak. Chachi's going to hop away. Gravity Field zoning. Chachi does not have flash. He's down. Varys Defensive flash. flash from Vardags. At least get a reprieve kill. This, this dragon should be secured for. Might have a massive fight. Look, watch for Chaos Storm. Watch for the flag here. Massive wow, Chaos Storm. Oh, that is massive. Dragon secured by Rockat. Chaos Storm almost insta gives power of evil. And in a 1v4, Nuke Duck, he almost wins. Unicorns, however, are able to get away. Come on, protect. He'll be able to help you well out. Here's the engage from Rocket. They've caught Hillisang. I'm not What's sure that's ball? the best. We are going to see the Fates call in a moment or two. You are well have peeled back. Horo is trying to get Yankos. The Shockwave only catches Steve. Horo is able to zone away Yankos, but it's Mr. Rawls really that has got power of evil. Now Vardax wants to try clean up the fight. Nuketuck, get one onto Horo. He gets another onto Vardax. And there's a flash as a rend. Mr. Rawls has just taken out Vizichachi. There are super minions in the base. They are being dealt with by Steve and by Yankos. Rock at the group wants Megan our times. There may be an opportunity. Flashes are up for everybody on Rocket. Wow, two supers. They may get one. There's a flash Here for Steve. He's, he's gone way deep. He's found power of evil. Oro has been knocked up as well. Yankos is trying to zone. Mr. Chachi cannot go Megan now. Remember, Yankos he's survives. tired. Mr. Rolls has got a kill. Power of evil. Megan down. Jumps. Steve gets us. Power of evil's down. Horo's down as well. Vordax, however, is still alive. Hillis is standing. Nexus is under threat from super minions. And one Tibbers to defend it all. Oh, he's boxing the wave. This is fantastic. Kill the Tibbers. Crepo, Unicorns of Love have been in Nexus defenses so many times. They've invented new ways to stall Chachi the game. pull the minions. We have Tibbers defending, but right now, one in hip just going to drop. This should be the game. 70 seconds remain on Chachi. 20 seconds on the clock. Rocket in the final hour, in the fourth game. They want to close it out. They should close it out. Game Rocket. over, we're going to game five! One more battle to determine the <laughs> next walk. semi finalist. Did you, did you see Yamato walk off power walk like a diva? We'll find out because Rocket did build that full AD mid lane. It was Triforce into Blade of the Ruin King. Nice but it's cubes. still not full AD because it's a Corky. Yeah. Mixed AD. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the last time I will ask you to do this tonight. It is game five of the series. Rocket or Unicorns so of that's Love. That's what they're doing. And, and look how starved Chachi's been a farm. Three CS. Unicorns are going to invest oh, a lot wait, Steve. into this tower dive. They've caught Steve out. Vanda has got the unbreakable, but he doesn't have stand behind oh. me. He can't increase the defenses, and Chachi gets first blood. It's simply not wide enough. The shield, of course, from Vander. Fighting them in the minions here. Oh, now Vander, he's oh, in he trouble. Got he's gonna go forward. Vander's got one. Now he's trying to get away. The hyper's gonna proc. Vander's trying to get backwards. Tower Ooh. hit connects with Horo. Oh, he's dead. Horo's he's dead. In Who's gonna get the buff? Form. Who gets the kill? Gonna go to Horo. And Vardax tanks the shot. That was well executed. Team's last game. They're trying to find Steve here. Steve has gotten better at dodging these ganks. We'll likely oh, go no. soon. You had to say it. You had to say he gets caught. Has gotten. There we go. Meganar should pop. May lead into a wallop. Wait, Meganar, they're going to go for the dive. Flash forward for Horo. Third kill. But the bot lane for Rocket, now on the top lane, is scaling pretty well. Tower gets denied. Hillisang may find himself stunned here by those concussive blows. Is Kortak into dead. Cocoon, and Yankos sinks the fangs. Teleports coming in from Chachi, instantly hopping away. Besides, he doesn't want this fight. Nuketuk. I wonder if Nuketuk got an extra 50 gold from that Nexus. That would have meant that he had even more gold to upgrade his swing kit. Oh, Steve, Steve, Steve. He's got Flash. He's got Vengeful Mail Strip. Chachi's going to time yeah, the gank once again. Horo and Chachi should be able to run him down. Rune Glaive. Oh! oh! 
Uh, you actually increased the damage, my friend. Yeah. Don't ever flash in a straight line against Spears. Healer saying deja vu on the other side of the map. He gets broke by Braum, gets stunned. Concussive blows, connects Vanda, even turns his focus to Vardax. Ooh. Great heads up play. 200 yeah. HP, but it's Yankos that gets the kill credit. Nukedak was trying to get an assist. Highest in the game, different. almost. Our evil is slightly ahead. Remember, he came out of a lane swap, so to be doing this well. Megan Na is very close here for Chachi. He's going to get Dove. Knock, knock, knock. connects. He hops. He crunches. He's going to go Mega in a moment. Wait, Flash defensively. Stunned. He even gets the wall up. There's a Nar available, but it's not enough. Mr. Rolls gets his second kill of the game. And this Back is why I like the first two games. He has to carry these fights. Right. Chachi's picked the fight with Steve, but the support coming in. Here comes Rolls. He's going to land a living artillery. Actually, it won't. Boydus will come out, slow Chachi down. Chachi's just gone. Starting to stack up. We are going to see that Stinker. smash. Here comes some That's support. It. Vanda was getting chunked by Horo, but Chachi goes down. Rockout will know. Oh, they know. Oh, know. Steve. It's secured. Steve is going to look for an engage. He's managed to catch out Hillesang. Vanda will connect with the Winter's Bite. Losing a support for Baron. Sorry, Krepo, but I trade you any day of the week. Yeah. <laughs> to Dragon Rotter. Legitimate Baron threat as well. Later. Krepa, we could see a team fight. We're definitely going to see it now. Horo got caught by the cocoon. He manages to flash defensively. Hellasang's thrown down unbreakable Will. He commits to try disengage. Will lose his life. Yeah. Chachi's flanking. Mistake from the unicorns. Good opening from Rocket. They know when to bite. Flash cocoon. But flash cocoon. Fonex will fall. Mr. Rolls gets his third oh, kill of the game. Has to cleanse. Is it going to be a stun? One more oh, hit. It's all in. Part of evil's down. Rocket with 30 seconds until Dragon. They win a team fight. And they even time. And look at the score though for Vander right here. One, one, and eight. There's nine kills on the board for Rocket. He's involved in all of them. Disengages Healersang right here. That's Yanko a great knockout. And a threat to Shockwave. Unicorns of Love bounce back and say, screw that. They get themselves three. They get themselves another tower shortly and Baron's alive as well they can go for the inhibitor or they can have home guards he does he's running this real has to be quick it. Vander Q flash on power of evil Vander that's a great chain of corruption it's not gonna catch Steve Here Steve's go. gonna flash he used his righteous glory Hillisang's trying to disengage the glacial fissure comes down power of evil and Vardax Body are getting stops. run down Vardax will be going down it's Nukedak that gets the kill Hillisang will follow suit but look at the bottom lane Visit Chachi may get himself a tower and more recalls oh, coming stop, out stop the bases from Rocket the rest of UOL trying to stop it they won't be able to Chachi Will get base, an inhibitor. But he can't deal with Chachi. Chachi can even pressure this longer. If Unicorns do the math and he can't, who's there? You might see more because top lane is exposed. Mid lane is down. Chachi will go Mega Nar. Rocket has got cancelled. It's still not recalled. Chachi, with one of the most effective split pushes we've seen, He's got a gnaw, he's gonna catch Nukedak. I don't think the stun connected though. Throws in the house. Chachi is 1v1ing Nukedak. He's tanky, he's beefy, he's killed by Mr. Rolls. 2v1, not fair, rematch, bro. Steve is now being focused out by Horo. That was a very good cocoon. That's gonna keep Horo out of the fight. Sidesteps the javelin toss. That's a flash forward from Horo though. He says, you cannot get past me. Another cocoon connects. Horo, flash away. Managed to throw the game here. Baron. Is getting lower. There's three members of Rocket in place. It's Sang secured by the Unicorns of Love. Hillisang is engaged. He's thrown Vanda forward, but they've lost Hillisang. Power Hillisang. Stack, he's, stunned. he's in trouble. The stun connects. Kakasa blows. Yankos will get the venomous bite. He goes human form. Looks for more. Wants to sink in. That's going to be its end. He smites Vardax where he stands. Horo, however, wants to turn it around. Mr. Rawls has got a lot of damage. He used his blade active, and Chachi says, Let's try it again, ladies. Let's try it again. He wants one more inhibitor. Steve's the gatekeeper though, knocks him back, knocks him up. And he's going to be able to delay it. Chachi is just going to focus the inhib. He may have learned from his misgivings previously. Can Down to half. Is he, if he can dodge it, he, yes, can. he can! He crunches! He manages to get a two-man stun as well. He needs a few more hits. He nods him against the wall. Gets a kill in the process, but he's not oh, hitting it? the inhib. He oh. does! You know, the inhib lives! The inhib survives! And Horo will probably take it down with one hit, but... 50% down. Unicorn's looking for an agenda. Look at how many traps there are. It's just litter at this point, Horo. 
Not able to find a javelin toss, but every time he moves in, one, two more hits. Ooh, Glacial Fisher used Vanek defensively. Engages. It's too early, Vander. You needed to hold on to that. The cocoon insta cleanse from Power of Evil. He's backed his way oh, out. And the caught in. Chain of Corruption is going to start to spread. Inhibitor still standing. The Nexus turret's falling. Super minions are onto the Nexus. Vander's lost his life. Steve forced to retreat. Mr. Rawls is looking for some pressure on Shachi. And down. Now we need to see what can Power of Evil do. Crowd wants UOL to close it out. There's one Siege Creep, two Siege Creeps. Shachi is there. Valdex is poking. Half mana. Power of Evil is still fully alive. Hillisang. No ultimate available. Steve. That's a flash oh, gauge! They've got Mr. Rolls. He's got the QSS though. He manages to get away. Austin Megan Nar Nar to will be coming out. Visit Shachi's gonna go Mega Nar. That minion really needed to die, according to Steve. Nexus is being focused. There are uh, banner empowered minions. There are super minions. That's a three-man no! roar! Visit Chachi's done it! The Unicorns of Love are on to the Nexus! The Unicorns of Love are going to Sweden! And they are going to face Fnatic! to see who you at home think will win this series and move on to the semifinals. Keep voting with the hashtag GVWin or the hashtag TSMWin, and we'll tally those up as we get into and throughout the game. We're just about to be on the rift here for quarterfinal number two, Gravity versus Team Solo mid. Both teams' fans out to represent here in power, and they're going to need it. It's going to be a long series. We are now on the rift. If it was going to happen. Gravity honestly oh. showing a lot of inaction in the early game. Bear to Pinkboard though. Oh, oh soul oh. kill. Really? I think there might have been a trap there or Yikes. a heal from Santorin to actually get his assist in, but yeah, solo kill indeed. Yep. It's not a trap. We're gonna have to see the plays come in in the fighting phase. And Gravity has not been too keen on those if they do Here not have the lead. It could start right now Ooh. though. A, a jump in by Santorin. He goes down immediately. Can't really figure out which target he wants in the beginning. Oh, nice. He knocks back Lust Boy, and they get the kills they want. So it's TSM overextending a little bit there. Keen. Looks like he's also trying to come around. Oh, that's a pick right board, board. Oh, move. This is not going to feel very good. He gets taken down. Another initiation. We saw the same thing in mid. Move gets himself into trouble alone. Alltech gets hit up now. Winter's bite, but he's able to jump Whoa. out. <laughs> oh, and Dyrus, on the wrong side. Dyrus not on the right side. Lulu ultimate is up. They're going to go ahead and use that onto Dyrus, and they should be good. Wild Growth keeping him safe. Lust Boy hook. Nobody can really go in under that. Winter's bite almost hits to finish with Santorin's javelin, they but they dodge oh. it out. Yep. Bjergsen flashes forward. Getting a little hyphy on the side of TS but they know they have the turret. And they have all this vision control oh, on the left side. So many pink boards. They have scuttle control. This Baron is probably one of the gone. You can't, you can't really face check nope. this area. Yeah, you can see how they, they have a scrying orb off cooldown, so they should be using it, and they wow. should be charging that zone right there now. It is. They just popped the scrying They'll orb. They'll get there late. a little late. Vision. Santorin's actually quite low after this. That's going to be the smite down. Keen comes oh, in very comes big, but Dyrus is around the wall. He's actually going to use Ragnarok <laughs> to get himself right out. Everybody dodges the hook. Move. That's oh. a big hit by Move as he comes in with the ultimate. TSM's going to have to scatter on this one. Bjergsen and Dyrus both go down after that, but they have Baron. The lanes can be in their favor now. Speaking Good of Move, Wimsy. he's going for an engage here. Going to the back. Woo. See how quickly they can get this one. Dyrus going Dyrus. all the way through. He's actually on to Hauntzer, one of the tankier guys. They get Move in the front, though, and he goes down immediately. He's only got his jungle item and a locket of the Iron Solari. Not enough to keep him alive. No, definitely not. They're all about the mobility. So they do have all ultimates up except for the raw malt on TSM side. So Dyrus look going fight. again. Effectively, this is working well for Team Solo mid. From top to bottom, they have just been slowly shredding Gravity's health bars. Now finally bait them into that dragon fight and whittle them down even more. This may not be kills. Now the they're hope. definitely funneling in on this one. The focus is hard on the hunts there. Nothing's oh. going to actually finalize a kill, though. Move is already down for previously. We'll see if he can come back up they into this fight here. Yeah, it synchronizes with a very large minion wave, which is all too convenient for TSM. This could actually be the inhibitor because there are not enough home guard boots nope. on Gravity right now to recall and defend this. One kill for a turret and an inhib. So it's it's if he puts both of those things onto Darth, it's an extra 1,500 Ooh. health. It's basically a whole person on top. Gravity is literally literally doing everything they need to to not fail in one of these oh, fights. Right, now the Dyrus. The team's going to go huge. Hauntzer doesn't get a taunt there, but it's still enough pressure to push Dyrus out with both 
Summoner's down now after that, that teleport was used. That's disaster. TSM gives up Dragon for no contest and then loses their Ghost and Ultimate on That's their main on the and then they fight! What? Alltech takes the Lantern back. He's safe. Enough peel for him to dish out the damage on the back line and Lustboy and the rest of the them. team, they can't close that. Haunzer gives a quick shield, but he's also able to get that one out. His teammate goes down and now Team Solomid back and forth with gravity in the mid lane, and it looks like Lustboy, I mean Bjergsen rather, on the Lulu, able to pick up Bunny Fufu here after the hook goes through. A triple kill for him as he comes out very big, and Santorin's able to clean up the turret from that Azir as they push down mid lane. Inhibitor coming in for Team Solo mid. Looks yeah. like they may go down for the bot lane here. They're they gonna have, get mid, then bot. They have the ready carry and mid wave against just to shed with long death timers. This or mid might mid be the game. That, oh my goodness. Lustboy's ultimate was key in that. It kept Altec in range because he had to walk all over the slow field and they picked him up and then they just ran all over the team with the with the speeds. This was how this comp is built and it worked out perfectly there. They're just going to end the game. What a ridiculous fight to put Team Solomid in the base of gravity at the end. Altec jumping forward. Gravity not being able to close the gap and Team Solomid found the fight that they wanted and had been prepping for the last 10 minutes in mid. You we'll see if it works. Like I'm going to hold Zyrene to that. Remember <laughs> to share your predictions. Tweet at Adel Esports with the hashtag GVWin or hashtag TSMWin. We'll see how that fan vote stands once we are in game. And guess what? We're really close to being in game. Game two here, the quarterfinals. It is going to be Team Solo Mid versus Gravity. TSM up one game. They'll get some damage on the turret with Haunter. No big deal. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yep. Oh! oh. <laughs> It's that old song and dance. They take down Dyrus right away. Early pressure of the Elise, no yep. backup by Santorn. Meaning Gravity could actually leave Altec up there relatively safely uh, until these two cooligans start running around. Dangerous blue invade. Oh, nice cocoon. Kind of predicted the walk from that pink ward just above, but they, say, oh, don't, they don't have the area to fight in. They don't own this space just yet. Santorin giving some damage back to move, but a nice follow through. Bunny Fufu gets there. They get the concussive blows to lock down. Unfortunately, it goes to Bunny Fufu, but a kill is a kill, and that's the second one here for Gravity. And it's the second game in a row. TSM fails and evade in the same spot same at the spot. same time You're in right. the game and suffers two deaths because of it with the same with members. With the same two people. <laughs> Come on, guys. Learn from what happens. In this one, they didn't have the adequate lane pressure. Be able to read you at some point, but they're not letting gravity do it. But they're just sieging this turret, and Keen is super late to this. No wave clear, takes you so long Walking to clear. Walking through a lot of wards. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They can't even shove the mid lane, despite the incredibly slow move there. But now they're going for a fight. Their only win condition here. This is going to be an area for Shockwave. Actually, it's down for Bjergsen. Let's see if they can get a good hit in. Glacial Fisher kind of separates it a bit, but they are all over the members of gravity. That's Dyrus getting Pushed out of the fight. Haunter's now on the backside. Turtle has a bit of peel for himself. A nice follow with a repel coming in and flash from move is able to pick up that kill onto Dyrus. Four to zero now for Gravity. Yeah, they know the Ragnarok is down from the Olaf, but they haven't accounted for the rest of the ultimates. Where's the shockwave coming in? Oh! Beautifully timed rocket jump there by Alltech. They were looking for a shockwave opportunity originally, but Dyrus wasn't able to get in a good position after he entered. Yeah. That first Undertow Lust Boy, though. Oh, took him out. Lustboy gets hit. One more Seeker coming in from Keen. He takes down Lustboy. Gravity may not want any more of this. They're still moving forward. Alltech gets a little bit of the reset. Now onto Bjergsen. He may be able to finalize that kill. One over onto Dyrus. Here comes the hit from Key or Alltech onto Bjergsen. Takes him down even with the command, command protect. I could talk today. Seven to zero now for Gravity. Just around the corner. He uses the. Yep. He gets oh, it! He He's it. able to steal the Baron! Me. Santorin also gets out! Un pretty much unscathed! Absolutely ridiculous. Dyrus. They're kind of trapped in here. They're going to have to bail at the back side. Flying in, actually used the true oh. damage over. Santorin stealing everything away for Team Solo Mid, and this may be the fight they want. Bunny Fufu is down. That's a bit of that shield that they need to stop these attacks from Dyrus from Santorin while Turtle Rocket's coming in. TSM still chose a team against that Braum because they can take the Braum down. That hook coming in from Lustboy, dropping in one, but he also goes down in the same. Wow, great plays coming in right now by Team Solo Mid and Keen, Keen, Keen and the rest of the team down on the floor. Turtle gets lost there as he gets himself too aggressive. Altec goes in, gets himself the distance he needs, but Dyrus Hunter. still on the fight. Everybody's got miscommunication on in or out right now, and Dyrus still wants to dance. One undertow, he's not gonna follow with the second one as he does connect, and Team Solo Mid scraped through some kills there to keep that even. 
They were also waiting for the Scuttle Crab to die down so that they know it's an opportunity. They're just looking for a fight, and they get it. Teen switches around Santorin. They could still be going in. Dyrus going to teleport on the backside. Home guards. He's on to Buddy Fufu, focusing the support. He goes on to Hauntzer. Dyrus really doesn't have a target right now, and it looks like he's going to be the one getting hit up. A bit of miscommunication there. Dyrus is teleporting. Cocoon. Home guard was too late. Bjergsen gets taken out. That's the catch control that once gravity assesses the fight can start picking out priority targets. And some split focus by TSM right there. There was a big ball of pain. No death. And it's still gonna go. Bjergsen's in flank position as is Santor, and this type of chaotic fight could favor either team. Oh, nice to double flash. Talk. flash talk coming in. Bjergsen low on mana. Oh. Can't get enough protection out this time. All the shields were used, and TSM still stayed to fight without the defenses required. This is gonna start being inhibitors. Gravity finally broke the base. That's their wave clear, and they also have waves pushing the top lane. They can just go up here and take another inhibitor. Couldn't Huge have been a better move. time. How do you have that whole fight and still have Taunt Flash available, but it's used at just the right time. He finally catches Bjergsen. They could two inhibitors down. Not everybody. They're going to go all spells. the way around here. A huge wave in the bottom as well after having a game where no wave was in place. Even banner. past the river, everything is coming yeah. in. The banner of command now put on this minion as well to give him a little bit more help. Oh. There's the swap, the suppression on Lust Boy. He can't even put a box down to put anybody in. And that's the third inhibitor. Did it just happen again? Did this game just get flopped on its head? Gravity this time is gonna be the victor on it. The first Nexus turret goes down. Game two is gonna come through in a one-to-one -one now as we head over to game three. And 46 and a half minutes in, Gravity take down Team Solo Mid. And fight after fight after fight after fight after fight went to gravity. <laughs> oh, and all they needed Look was at the tears the... for Lust Boy. He's crying. <laughs> oh, Lust Boy. He builds four tears at the end of the game. <laughs> You'll see that in the post game stats if you check all these sports afterwards. But really, these picks as well. Send hashtag TSM win or hashtag GV win to at LOL Esports. As always, we'll tally up the votes in just a few minutes as we get into game. And we're going into game three. Gravity with a pretty different composition. It looked like it was going to have a hard time winning. Really took it to Team Solo Mid and only found a few deaths along the way. Impressive stuff. We're going to see what they have for game three. Both teams making some decent size adaptations. Obviously, TSM yeah. going with the they Jinx. Keep themselves safe. Oh, they may not, though. Not enough wards to keep themselves completely safe. Yeah, the collapse is coming in, though, from Lulu and Nidalee. Hans is going to have to run. That's also oh, a TP. Do, 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 do. Got a little too ahead of themselves without really getting an advantage of being in the jungle here. Now being completely pushed out by Team Solo Mid. One undertow hits. That's the ghost on coming in from Dyrus. Will he be able to connect some more? The reckless swing comes down. They are able to get first blood. The turret gold and first blood to Dyrus with three assists to the rest of the team. Things are looking good here as TSM swap it back down to the bot side. They then rotate as many people as they can towards the bottom side of the map and you look for a turret or kills in the jungle. They just flip sides, so. Yep. Bjergsen's making the call here. They know that Keen just used his ultimate, and he's very low on mana after using that full spell chain. Move oh. getting hit. There's the arrow coming through. It hits Santorin in the face, but does not stop move from going Rotating down. Killing turns very well, and they have the big cooldowns for when the team fights happen. Gravity wants to burst down this dragon, but it's a very strong TSM that can collapse upon them. Ball the arrow to the right. Bjergsen has to move it across. He's going to get one shockwave. Onto haunts are there. The rest of the gravity team flashes through, but they're all slivers of There's health Dyrus. instantly in the beginning of the fight. Double lift, triple kill for Dyrus. Looking for the Penta. That's going to be a kill for Turtle. It could still be the Quadra. That's a dropping spider. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Never going up the spout again. Quadra coming in for Dyrus. It's just a Dyrus comp. Yeah. <laughs> you kill everyone. Just Dyrus things. But it is a very early Baron, and TSM has a lot of people stopping the collapse on the Baron. Oh, so Dyrus doing it are going to get a little Snuck low. Snuck around. Yeah, well. Oh. Here's the true damage. Ta -da! Unbreakable will that, says Dyrus. He goes chug chug on for a little bit more. Dyrus still wants to party. He might not want to go too crazy here. He's taking turret shots right now. He's going on to move. Move could come back with a bite, but he does not. And all the Waiting focus is on to Dyrus, giving the rest of the team solo mid the chance to fight whatever members they want. The Trump hook so in. Close. He's going down. That's going to be the ignite. Command protect was also just coming back at the last second, but unfortunate for Keen, Hauntzer will also fall, trying his damnedest in the fight. And the sap is dodged by Altec as he has no mana or health heading for the fountain. Some combat effectiveness yep. over everybody else. Santorin's 4,000 gold up over Move. Hauntzer's 3,000 gold behind Dyrus, and they get the hook nice on Altec. 
DSM always says they're a different team coming oh! into playoffs. Oh, the four-man Wombo Combo coming in with Buddy Fufu. A lot of early damage, but is the finishing damage there for Gravity. They continue to tack on that DPS. One is going to go down. Lust Boy falls, but there's a lot of exit here from Team Solo. Mid, the Rocket comes back through to equalize the fight. The they support just... for a mid, I actually think that's in favor of TSM now. They just have so much in terms of combat stats on TSM, they only lose one person, and it's the support. That's the pawn for the queen right there, and you could not be happy with that. You're obviously going to move forward if you're TSM in this situation. Another inhibitor is going to go down. We're over 30 seconds on the death timers, and TSM doesn't even want gravity to come back and oh. defend anything here. Santorin getting a little too hypey in the situation. Wild Turtle looking for another one. Twisted advance, so close to hitting him, and it does. Turtle tried to stop the home guard speed, and he somehow stays alive as well, getting the heals, the shields that he needs. The ace coming in for Team Solo mid. They just went through the batting order of gravity. Yeah, and Keen's back up. Right, right again. Honestly, though, a five-man shockwave, what looked like from Keen. I'm not sure if it caught Darius on the back end, but... And potions into their inventory. Bunny Foo Foo very close to be going down. He does what he can with an arrow on the backside, but there's no unbreakable will. There is actually. He is just getting taken down very quickly. The cow sidesteps, but still goes down. And Team Solo mid is running amok now on Gravity's base. Yeah, Shockwave takes down Santorum, but this is such a massive TSM team rib. 31 minutes in, TSM with a decisive Game 3 win. 18 to 4. It was 1 to 1. TSM put themselves up one game and game point in the series versus Gravity is going to take this. How, how you think the series is going to go? It could be a win for TSM. It could be Gravity keeping themselves in. Just tweet at LOL Esports with the hashtag GVWin or the hashtag TSM win. And as always, those will be tallied up throughout the game. The crowd is ready. When a lot of games into the silver scrapes for Europe, can Gravity make that happen here in North America? Can we get a game five? Is Gravity ready for the long haul? Dyrus will return to lane quite well off. 56 to 57 in that CS, and he's got his uh -oh. phage built oh. up. Turtle Ooh. could go pop, and he does. Kill picked up for Alltech. Uh, gold side here mind. to Gravity in their base. See how Alltech takes this okay. one. Is that the jump as well coming There's in? I don't shed. think Altec's going to be able to do it anymore. He was stopped mid-jump there. Gets himself into the brush to deny some vision. Dyrus does not have much movement oh, towards the team. He looks like he's going to get himself Ooh. in a good spot now. Yeah, move eventually goes down. Dyrus slams him into the wall. And this is going to be a few more kills coming in for Team Solo mid. They have walked that one out, cut off gravity, and started slaying him. No. Oh. Misses with the house. Oh, boo. It's gonna be jumps out. Whoa, Lust Boy over the wall. That's gonna be the house hitting. Dyrus picks up another kill on the game after TSM continues through. They persevere now for that. Have one. Two dragons to zero. TSM with pretty gold. Oh, Lust Boy oh, looking for a plan on Tech. Oh. The crowd control train coming down the path. All Tech's able to jump out of the way just at the last second to get some big damage missed. And Bjergsen's coming up on the other side. Spirit Rush already used quite a bit ago, so he's picking these up with regular spells. They're going to be able to drop Haunter. Too many members of Gravity split up now as TSM is making their way through the jungle. Move wants it again, but they're 3v5 right now. This has to just be deterring Team Solo mid, but not at all. They actually put themselves in a bad spot, and Gravity goes down now, trying to deter Team Solo mid for more. Dyrus Nars out at the perfect time. Once again, it's going to be an ace under Gravity, and Team Solo mid start to lock this one down 22 minutes in. Dyrus has been having such a good series. And look, you extraordinarily hard climbing the ladder. I think he's in the top 10 right now. But, oh, <laughs> not about that. He's caught right now, but he's still going to be fine. He just has he? so much. Oh, so much gold. There it is, the Kansas City Shuffle. Oh. He should be all right. Oh. No, oh. he's like, nope. the ropes. Nope. It's another nope. punch. Nope. One, two, he gnars out. They're going to throw in the towel, but no, Dyrus stays alive. No towel to be thrown. Two kills already. Altec and Haunter is down. Buddy Fufu quickly follows, and Dyrus squeezes tight. He's still alive. Oh, an unfortunate pause. Our first of the series <laughs> right at the moment where he gets the huge one. We'll find out what this is about. Or will we? Or will we? They're unpausing right now. It's unpaused. Or will we? All right. Or will we? Need it, needed a moment to. Game. Everything got quiet. Moment to breathe. Everything is okay. Playing again. Going We're for in. it. Looks like TSM. We're back in the game. They might be that, that the game. That should be the game after that. Dyrus with a bait right there. Huge tankiness. Gets the Meganar. Slams him against the wall. Everyone in gravity goes in. This should be TSM. Moving on to the semifinals. Move back. They may have considered that a pause or a check of anything wouldn't help the game. It's going to be ended. Team Solo mid.
running down the tracks. Dyrus, the front of the train throughout the playoffs, and Team Solo Mid are gonna take down Gravity three to one in the quarterfinals. And TSM really powered up towards the end of that series. The first two games were quite close, looked sloppy from both sides.